Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and to like, share, and comment on my video. And I am super excited because I'm getting closer to 125 subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I'm going to do another giveaway. So thank you so much. And this video is going to be all about my skincare tips and tanning tips. So, I mean, obviously, if you don't tan, like go UV tanning or go spray tanning, then these will just be really good skincare tips for you. So, I like to make my videos for generally anybody, and obviously my recommendations are my recommendations, but again, as I say in all my videos, you can use whatever you want, because if that works better for you, then that works better for you. So these are just my suggestions and my tips and tricks and what I think. So here we go. So before you go UV tanning or spray tanning or just in general, you should exfoliate your skin. So this is the Coco Shea White Tea Body Scrub from Bath & Body Works. So I use this like once a week just to kind of get all like the dead skin off and everything like that so my tan will be more even be any dead skin left on my like really dry legs that I have um, and just so you get a nice uniform tan don't use this after you spray tan because it will scrub away your tan um, also don't use a loofah after you spray tan because that will also scrub away your tan um, you can use a loofah before you go spray tanning and you can use a loofah like once a week because that's exfoliating as well because anything that's like abrasive on your skin is going to exfoliate that layer of um, skin so Make sure exfoliate, so exfoliate before you go tanning, like if it's your first time ever going like UV tanning or spray tanning, definitely, definitely exfoliate. Um, if you occasionally go, exfoliate, because why not? There's lots of different scrubs out there. Um, I have the Victoria's Secret Pink Sun Kissed one. It smells so good. This one I like. This one's like, I like the ones that are more grainy. I don't like salt scrubs because they dry my skin out, so I would not recommend a salt scrub. Um, sugar scrubs are great. You can even make your own. You just take sugar, <laughs> literally, and you can mix it with um, like argan oil or like jojoba oil or any kind of oil and that way you'll get a scrub. But the only thing is, is when you scrub it in the shower, oil and water don't mix so it kind of like leaves like a oily film on your leg. So honestly, just like honey might work good too because that's also antiseptic. So I would do like sugar and honey because like why not? But I don't know how well that would go down the drain either. So whatever whatever you think as your homemade concoction scrub would work. Like you might as well just try it. <laughs> so um, then when you go, if you go spray tanning, make sure. Hi, Daenerys. What are you doing, puppy? So spray tanning, you want to make sure you exfoliate the day before. And then when you go spray tanning, you don't want to use lotion on any part of your body besides like the palms of your hands. Um, you don't want to use lotion on anywhere on your body besides the palms of your hands, your elbows, and the bottom of your feet and like your knees because those areas get really dry and they take the color really fast. So you don't want to put like lotion and create a barrier on your arm because then you'll be all patchy and you don't want that. So do it more on like the palms of your hands because you don't want like orange hands and the skin is so thin that it will literally soak up the spray tan and you will have orange hands. So I'm warning you and I'm letting you know. Oh, and when you get a spray tan, it might also turn green in some areas of your body because when you spray tan, the Spray tan is more of a green base, which is a good thing because it looks more natural instead of like an orange base, which doesn't look, it makes you look orange. So when you either go spray tanning or you buy a self tanner, make sure you go for one with like a green base. Like you'll see the difference. Like you'll see that it does pump out more green. But the only thing is, is that when you sweat and stuff, it does turn kind of green. So then if you go UV tanning like I do, just because... I live in New York State and there's no sunshine half the time, so I like to go UV tanning. Um, there's different levels of UV tanning. There are the UVA prominent beds and the basic beds, which are a mixture of UVB and UVA rays, which UVA rays are the ones that bronze you, so that one gets you tan really quick, but they don't burn you as much, but they also aid your skin. Just an FYI. <laughs> um, and then UVB rays are the ones that burn your skin and the ones that create the melanin in your skin. So that is what you 
create when you go like basic like level one basic tanning you create that melanin so when you get burnt so when you get burnt, you're creating melanin, and then you're kind of like building up, building up, building up, and then once you go tanning enough, you'll have enough melanin to then go in a, like a bronzing bed, which is more UVA prominent, so it just depends. Like, it depends on where you live and what your salons offer. Like, the one that I go to, they do levels 1 through 5. No, well, levels 1 through 4. 1 through 4. So they do like the basic beds, and then they do the high intensity, and then they do bronzing. So it just depends on what you want and what you're going for. Um, I do a fluctuation of basic, high intensity, and bronzing because that's just me. Most of the like facial bobs are UVA rays because your skin on your face, you wash your face more and you exfoliate more, so it kind of washes away more. So they use more of the bronzer, bronzing bulbs. So the one, oh, and if you go on a tanning bed, the ones that are like the long tube, those are UV, like the basic bulbs, not necessarily basic, but they're more of like the UVB and UVA rays, and then the ones that are like the little tiny, like, little tiny blue bulbs almost, you could say. Like, if you've ever been in a tanning bed and you see the difference, you'll know what I'm talking about. But they're like purple almost. Those are UVA rays. Yeah, the UVA bronzing ones. Just so you know, an FYI for all of you. So... When you go UVA tanning, oh no, UV tanning in general, you want to use a lotion. You don't necessarily always have to use lotion. I hate lotion, but like I use it before I go tanning because I wash it off because I go tanning at the end of the night usually and then I don't feel sticky and gross. Like I said in my other video in my hits or misses, <laughs> I use my Nivea Wet Skin Moisturizer at night. So this one is the Vanish from Designer Skin. With sunspot corrector, complexion balancing intensifier. This is the designer skin visionary miraculously dark tanning intensifier. So this one smells like really really sweet. This one smells really good. I have this one on now. And then I also have my little tiny baby divinely juicy designer skin pulp free juice evolution facial intensi intensifier. Hypoallergenic oil free non cosmogenic. So between like facial intensifiers and like body intensifiers is that these have really heavy scents and they might make you break out if you use them on your face because I don't know what these ingredients are exactly so I would not necessarily use these on my face. So I use this one on my face, I do it all the way down my neck and like my chest because this is kind of all like the same skin and I kind of get irritated here sometimes too because like it's the same skin as your face almost. So I use this one from here down and then I use this all over. So both of these. Um, I also have the California Tan Define Intensifier which smells really good. I haven't used it yet. But it smells really good. Like these all smell really good. I like the Vanish because it helps with sunspots which are little white dots that you might get. This just smells, it smells good. It just smells really like really sweet so you don't want to necessarily use it on your face I mean if you're not prone to breakouts on your face then more power to you and then this one smells really sweet too this reminds me of summertime when I would go tanning um, and then this is Define Detox and Refine by California Tan I like California Tan and Designer Skin there's also Swedish Beauty and there's Australian Gold and then there's one more that I can't think of oh, this one smells like really fresh and nice like I like this one a lot. I can't think of the third one. Swedish Beauty, Designer Skin, California Tan, Australian Gold, and I feel like there's one more I just can't think of it. If you guys can think of it, let me know. But I really like this one too. I feel like you might be able to use this on your face, but I looked on their website and they do have a specific intensifier for your face, which I might try. Um, so the difference also between a bronzing lotion and a intensifying lotion is that the intensifying lotions are what they are. They're intensifying your tan and they're lotion. Um, I personally don't buy bronzing lotions because I don't want to. <laughs> um, bronzing lotions have DHA which is, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's something something something. Like if you look it up you'll see what, what it is. It's like DHA. <laughs> and it's like a dye, so it dyes your skin, kind of like a spray tan or a self tanner, but it also helps you um, UV tan, but it helps get you darker. Um, I personally 
when I put the lotion on. I usually just do my front, so then I'd be like all tan in the front and no tan in the back because I can't really reach my back. So that's one reason why I don't use bronzing lotion. The second reason is because I just don't want um, like a like a bronze, like a not a fake tan, but like. Like, I don't want it to dye my skin. Like, I want my skin to tan on its own so I know how tan I am, like, naturally. Even though it's not natural, I'm not sitting in the sun. But if you were sitting in the sun, you could use these and you could use the other lotions, too. So, like, you could use this one and the other lotions. I'm talking really fast because I had my cranberry juice that I also featured on my his hits and misses. And I would highly recommend it because it's really delicious. <laughs> but that is also why I'm talking so fast. Um, but yeah, I love this. It smells so good. Like, I'm so happy that I got this. It reminds me of something that I've smelled before. <laughs> um, also, try to moisturize at night too. Like, like I said, I like I don't like lotion. Like, I just use this before I go tanning, and then I go home and I take a shower usually like a couple hours after, so I don't like feel it on my skin. And also, when I use this and I go tanning, it kind of like bakes into my skin, so I don't really feel it. Like, I have it on now, and it doesn't feel like sticky and ugh. Um, but then, also, use, like, a moisturizer afterward, too, to keep your tan, like, from fading. Like, you can use any lotion after. Like, so definitely, like, when you shower, use a lotion after because that'll keep your spray tan or your UV tan lasting longer. Um, I use my Nivea Wet or In Shower Moisturizer because, again, I don't really like the feeling of being sticky all the time. It also helps extend... extend 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 my tan so or just like if you don't go tanning you and you want to be moisturized why not um but yeah those are a couple of my tanning tips and i hope that you enjoyed this video sorry that i'm talking so fast um but yeah i would highly recommend any of those tanning lotions um you can get some on amazon too but i'm always wary of stuff on amazon and like beauty care products on Amazon and it like Marshalls and TJ Maxx because I just I don't know like if it's not a brand that I know then I don't really trust I don't necessarily not trust it but I just don't go for it all the time um but you don't know if like people on Amazon are like or eBay or stuff like that like you don't know if they're like buying this like from a tanning salon and then like watering it down so or like filling it with other stuff so like just be wary just be wary, like do whatever you want, just be wary, like that's just my warning, <laughs> just my warning. But I hope that you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and thank you so, so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this. Have a great day guys, bye!